What's up, people? It's your boy Mario Zone Two Three Nine, and yeah, basically we got gameplay on Nuke Town, which is pretty much my least favorite map in this game. You see, I don't get why people like this map. But yeah, right now I'm using the entire grip, and I'm gonna kill through the bus. He got, you could say he got. Busted. <laughs> uh, I know, that's a bad joke. Anyway, some of you may wonder why I don't like Nuketown, and it's mainly because it's it's way too small and the spawns suck. Let's just see, and, and see, if you want to play Nuketown, play Black Ops 1. Seriously. It's like common logic. So, yeah. I'm sorry, but, like, try demolition spawn, and when you get spawn trapped, there is absolutely no room to move. You are stuck in a small fence area, in which case, everyone will probably have FMJ and kill you, or you will spawn right in front of their line, and they'll shoot you, and you have no chance to shoot, because there's no, like, there's no, like, damage frames or anything, invincibility frames or anything in Call of Duty, which... Really, they should have, because the amount of spawn kills is just ridiculous. And this can happen in Domination too. I'm mean, surprised they didn't fix spawn trapping yet. You'd think they would spawn them on, you know, away from time. And yeah, we've got a guy camping in here, which is also another reason I hate this map so much. It, it's pretty much guys camping in that win up window on stairs just shooting which I die a lot too. You know, common sense would tell me that I sh shouldn't go in there. But still. It's just a bunch, it's just a, it's just a camper friendly map. What with this game having bouncing beddies and shock charges and claymores and the like. Pretty much. Pretty much this map is camper friendly, and really I don't like it. It's a piece of crap and I don't like it. God, I don't know why people like this map so much. Maybe it's because, maybe because there's a lot, all the people that like these are campers in that. I mean, sure, there's something that's fine, but really, I don't like Newtown, it's just, it's a stupid map. And the futuristic look doesn't even look good. Oh, and right as the EMP grenade went off, the lights in the room flashed on and off for a second there. That was creepy timing there. <laughs> but yeah, and here's this guy trying to FMJ through the wall. See, like, if, if you're skilled enough and you don't die, you can just immediately shoot the crap out of everyone. Oh yeah, and I've got good news. I'm actually, on my birthday June 1st, I'll be getting a capture card. Which means there'll be no more of the video thing. Even though you can hear the audio quite well and the video is quite lookable, it, it, it can look a lot better. And besides, having the best quality is always good, right? So, once June 1st comes around, you'll be starting to see HD videos on my channel, which means, you know, no more video recording. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on handheld, so the DS and 3DS videos, they will all be, um... They will all be still on using this video, so... Apparently, I have capture cards for it, but, you know, I think you have to get, like, another 3DS for it or something. It's quite frankly, I don't have time and money to do. Yeah, I just spray this through, but yeah. Like I said, I'm getting better quality. Also, I'm getting, um, GameCube games that I can walk through and that. Living in Mario Sunshine, Wind Waker, and, um, Crash Bandicoot 4. Well, for those of you who are just here for the coffee, there'll be plenty, trust me. But there'll also be other types, so... Get this guy in here. Quite okay. And we're only halfway round about the end, I got a few kills in.
See what I mean? Like, I, I got a quite a few kills there, and usually, and cause someone going this in fear mode, the domination round. And also, I'm getting an Elgato, which mean, and they had this little time frame thing, which I really like, and that will get me some good moments, which I might put on if if it so happens to happen. Oh yeah, B flag and domination is pretty much the death trap. Well, in fact, all all B flags are basically traps because they're all you know conveniently seen everywhere. There's like a billion lines of sight in the B flag, which is really annoying. I understand the B flags, the center flags, got to be annoying and that, but they really need to put some flags that you know limit sights and that so therefore you have to actually go after the person instead of sniping them. And that's another thing, Nuketown side, the sides of the house, they have too many lines, big long sniper lines of sight. Which really, really is annoying. It's practically a sniper camper friendly map. I was actually playing Search and Destroy and I did, I was and I was getting to not hope I did. Oh yeah, it was just not. And yeah, and I got a headshot through the door of the house. I'm fine behind me right now. The like this thing. Got a headshot for that, and also got a cross map. Tomahawk. Don't even know why I even have combat axes or tomahawks. I call them tomahawks. They sound much better, much more manly than combat axe. But yeah, because it, it's really like a one in a million chance the thing will actually hit. And I've been playing a lot of Search and Destroy trying to get some decent matches, but it's harder than you think. Usually with five billion campers and guy with the BS knife. Or Mr. LMG with Target Finder. Like I say, Search and Destroy doesn't let you have anything. I believe I got a Merciless there, I think. I can't remember. Now I got a Hellstorm. And I didn't realize you could boost in the Hellstorm until after this clip was done, so. Don't come saying, oh yeah, press L1 to boost. But use the boost to get full. I don't know. It'll just be logic there, it'll just be logic. Like, yeah, here, here I'm just ducking because I have no help whatsoever. Looks like the same friend has a right idea. Look, they're practically concussioning, flushing you in EMP grenades. In fact, there are so many EMP grenades on Nuketown that it's not even fun. Seriously. One does not simply go into the center and not get EMP grenaded. If you don't get EMP grenaded one t once in Nuketown, I'd say you're lying. I've got UAV right now, and I'm in the spawn. One thing to note about Nuketown is that, you know, being in the spawn, you'll usually have a billion coming up this building. I think the match is just about to end. Yeah, look at that. EMP grenades everywhere. See, look, I'm just camping in this fort. See, when you got enemies in your spawn, you're pretty much screwed. Unless they, unless they die. Might as well call my hellstorm. Don't make it in time because, you know... I didn't realize the boost, otherwise I would have got a final kill then. So see you around. I've got all the final scores.